Hi guys, welcome po sa Hugot Sip Naya, and this is Sir JV, your mat kahugot, and welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa topic natin for today, we're going to have the week 2 of MELC, the first quarter, which is solving problem involving factoring polynomials. So ito guys yung mga topic na naskip natin when we're making our video lesson, so binabalikan lang po natin para makompleto na natin, guys, lahat ng first quarter mathematics video lesson natin. Tara guys! Tingnan po natin kung paano to. Para po sa objective natin for today, syempre, we're going to have the the week to first week or the second week ng ating first quarter solving problem related to factoring. So magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang problem ngayon na isosolve natin. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process kung paano isolve ang mga problem na yun para magkamayon kayo ng idea kung paano mag-solve, syempre. So, we're going to have our number problem. So, let us read the problem. The product of two consecutive even number is 48. So, find such pair of integers. So, first problem natin guys is number problem. Guys, remember, lahat po ng problem na ipipresent ko o yung two problem natin ay related sa factoring. Kung paano ginagamit ang factoring in real life situation or real life problem. Okay? Now, so we need to have the things to consider. So we're going to consider the two consecutive even integers. So ano ba yung even numbers? Those are the numbers that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Malaki yung posibilidad na ngayon mga number. O sadya ka talaga yung mga number. Since we're talking about even. And guys, so we're also looking for their product which said to be a 48. So consider natin yung product at syempre yung consecutive even integers. Paano nga ba to? So alam ko guys, sa uh, hula ninyo, alam ko may sagot na kayo. Now, ito lang po yung isang sample ng problem na ginagamitan natin ng factoring. So, let's have first our representation. So, considering our problem, we will mark the first number as x and the second number as x plus 2. May idea ba kayo guys kung bakit x plus 2 ang binigay natin para sa second number? Siguro nga, tama kayo dyan. Ang guys, tama siya na x plus 2 kasi we're talking about even numbers. Hindi tayo pwede mag-add ng 1 kasi maglalabas tayo ng magkasunod na consecutive number. Pero hindi sila even. Kaya po, plus 2 para magkameron ng discrepancy yung pagiging even number niya. So, we're going to formulate our equation based on our given item. So, we can up with x quantity x plus 2 equals to 48. So, nangyayari po yun kasi may first number tayo which is x and the second number natin which is x plus 2. So, since we're looking for the product, we're going to equal them with 48. So, we have our equation which is x quantity x plus 2. So, guys, remember, whenever we're having our problem, kailangan makapag-formulate ka ng mga equation. Ano yung susolve mo? Siyempre, kung walang equation. At isa pa, guys, whenever we're trying to deal with problem solving, kailangan we start with representation. Siyempre, Alamin mo muna yung mga detalye na kailangan. Tapos eh, siyempre, equation, solution. Kung maaaring mag-checking ka, bigyan pa si checking. And siyempre, your conclusion. Always state your conclusion in a right statement or sentences. For our solution, guys, so we have the equation. So, x quantity x plus 2 equals to 48. So, we're going to have x squared plus 2x equals to 48. So, we just multiply x times x plus we come up with x squared x times 2 which is 2x and we just copy 48. So, syempre, simplify muna natin yung nasa uh, left side syempre ng equation. Okay, now, we continue with that, guys. So, we, we put positive 48 on the other side by putting its additive inverse. So, from the positive 48, may isang negative 48. 
Tandaan nyo guys ha, whenever you're putting one term on the other side of an equation, papatan mo lagi ang sign. At ang tawag po doon ay additive inverse. So ngayon, meron na tayong x squared plus 2x minus 48. Now guys, dyan papasok yung konsepto ng factoring. So kung tatandaan nyo guys, yung topic natin for general trinomial, dito nyo siya i-apply. So ngayon, i-apply natin yung general trinomial. So we have an x plus 8, x minus 6. Kung nalilito kayo kung paano naging gano'n ang sagot guys, may video ako dito sa ating channel na nagtotok about general trinomial. So try to visit that part para malaman nyo yung ating pinag-uusapan. Ngayon guys, since we're looking for the answer, kailangan equate ang both equation into zero. Paano yung equate into zero? May idea ba kayo? Tama po yun. Ang gagawin nyo guys, equal mo ang both nating factor sa zero. Kaya nga equate to zero. So magiging ganyan po siya, both of them ay kailangan mo equate sa zero. So solution guys, so we have x minus 8 and x plus 6. Ililibot natin si positive 8 sa, ka sa kabilang side ng equation. That's why we have a negative 8. Same thing with our positive 6. So, so same thing with our positive 6. Nilipat natin sa kabilang side, kaya naging positive siya. So, from negative 6, naging positive 6 po siya. So, meron tayong sagot sa ating x, which is negative 8, at saka 6. Ang tanong, Sir, gagamitin po ba ang pares sa sagot na yan? Opo. Parehas po siyang gagamitin para malaman natin guys yung integers na ating pinag-uusapan. Now, by checking guys, so syempre, i-check natin kung tama yung ating x. O syempre, para isolve pa rin natin yung remaining item natin because we're looking for the pair of integers. So, una natin gagamitin guys yung negative 8. So, ang ating equation nga pala is x quantity x plus 2. So, pag sinimplify natin guys to, may isang negative 8 times negative 8 plus 2 equals to 48. Sa kabilang banda naman, we have 6 quantity 6 plus 2 equals to 48. So, we continue with that. So, negative 8 times negative 6 is definitely a 48. Same thing with 6 times 8 equals to 48. So, saan ba nanggaling yung negative 6 at saka positive 8? Recall po natin guys ha, si negative 8 ay plus 2 kaya po negative 6. Si 8 po ay galing sa 6 plus 2. Saan po ito nanggaling? Ito po, pinalit po natin si negative 8 at si positive 6 doon sa original nating equation which is x quantity x plus 2. Okay? So, ngayon, by our conclusion guys, since ang negative 8 times negative 6 ay equal sa 48, ang positive 6 at saka positive 8, pag multiply natin equals to 48, so therefore we have our conclusion which is the pair of the integers that we will try to look for is the pairs of negative 6 and negative 8 and 6, 8. So pansin nyo guys, so, dalawa po ang ating asagutan, guys. So, we're looking for integers, guys. Hindi lamang po, we're looking for positive. Siyempre, kasama yung negative. Since ang definition, guys, ang integers ay signed number. Pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative. And, guys, identically, napansin nyo naman, ang negative 6 at saka negative 8 ay even. Ang positive 6, positive 8 ay even din. So, yun po ang ating kasagutan. And that is number problem. Kung madali lang po ba, so, ibig sabihin guys, yung ating factoring guys, nagagamit natin in real life situation like this one. So, another example guys, okay, guys, let us have our next problem. We're going to look for the area of problem. So, the area of problem, the length of a rectangle, do you know what the rectangle is guys? Ano ba Tagalog ng rectangle? Tama po kayo, it's parehaba. So, the length of a rectangle is twice the width. So, ang dimension guys, a rectangle, laging dalawa. 
it's the length and the width. If the area of the rectangle is 288 meter or square meter, so find the length and the width. So we're looking for the length and the width. So guys, ito yung mga dapat natin consider syempre. Syempre yung length natin na twice syempre yung ating width at also guys, yung ating area which is 288 me, uh, square meter o meter squared o squared meter. Hmm. So ano ba nga natin? We're looking for the length and the width. So guys, After natin consider yung ating length, yung twice ang width, yung ating area, so we're going to look for our representation. So, so let 2x be our length and x be our width. So, in, guys, in our uh, diagram o ating image, guys, we have 288 square meter with our area. So, guys, we have 2x as our length. And x, which is our width. So, napasin nyo, mas mahaba syempre yung length kaysa sa width. Well, let's try to have this first. So, guys, para sa solution natin sa problem natin, so, we're going to have our solution of the problem. So, we start syempre with our equation. So, ang area, guys, equals to length times width. So, having such idea, which is length times width equals to the area, we have an x quantity x squared equals to 288. Since guys, ang length natin is 2x, ang width natin is x, yung product guys sila, area mismo, which is 288. Kaya po nagamit kami ng equation na ganyan. Now, we're going to solve them. Usually guys, pag nag-solve tayo niyan, in a normal way, wala nang factoring factoring, ang gagawin natin, square root. We have 2x squared equals to 288. Saan ang galing yung 2x squared? x times 2x, 2x squared. Now, di-divide natin yung whole equation by 2, kaya nagkamayon tayo ng x squared equals to 144. So, syempre, kukunin natin yung square root, kaya po nagkamayon tayo ng positive negative 12. Now, syempre guys, since we're trying to emphasize guys, yung rule natin for factoring, factoring ang gagamitin natin dyan. So, we're going to have 2x squared minus 288. Saan po nang galing yun? x times 2x ay... 2x squared. Si 288 guys, nilipat sa kabilang side. Kaya naging negative 288. Now, we're allowed now to use our factoring techniques. So, we're going to start with monomial. So, 2x squared minus 288. Common si 2. Kaya nagkamayon tayo x squared minus 144 times 2. Which is our factor. Ngayon, si x squared minus 144 guys. Kung napapansin nyo po, ay isang uri ng, siya po ay difference of 2 square. So, we have difference of 2 square. Siyempre, ipapaktor po natin yan. Ang square root guys, ang 144 ay 12. Kaya po nagkamayon tayo ng 2 quantity x minus 12 at x plus 12. So, laging sum and difference. So, meron tayong x minus 12, meron tayong x plus 12. So, may factor na tayo. So, dyan matatapos ka ang equation natin. Hindi pa po. Kailangan natin hanapin ang value ng x. So, we're looking for the value of x, guys. So, ito po yung equation natin. So, paghihiwalay po natin, guys. Lag, like, tulad na sinasabi ko, we have 2 quantity x minus 12 equals to 0 and x plus 12 equals to 0. Guys, regardless yung itong yun, walang problema yan. Kasi, pag-divide naman natin ang whole equation, kung 0 yung kabilang side, laging automatic, 0 yan. Hindi, hindi na maka-apekto yung itong yan. So, So, we're going to have the other equation, which is 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 12 is negative 12. The other one naman, guys, nilipat lang si 12 sa kabilang side. Kaya, automatic, we have negative 12. So, we continue with this part, guys. So, si negative 12, ililipat natin sa kabilang side. Kaya, naging positive 12. Sorry, positive 24, rather. So, dividing them by 2, kaya po tayo may sagot na 12. O guys, dalawang sagot natin. We have a negative 12 and a positive 12. Anong gagamitin natin dyan guys? Since wala naman tayong negative na measurement guys, ang gagamitin natin syempre ay si positive 12 lang. 
Alam mo magsukat ka guys ng panegative. Wala naman po ganung sukat. If we're talking about measurement, laging positive ang kukunin natin. Now, kung may positive 12 tayo, since we're looking for the length, so meron na tayong width which is x. So 2 times 12 is definitely a 24. So meron tayong length at width which is our length is 24 and our width which is 12. So guys, para sa ating checking, kung nakapasin nyo, since the measurement cannot be negative, we have a width which is 12 and a length which is 24. So x natin 12. So pansin nyo, tingnan natin kung tatama sa equation. So 12 times 24 is definitely a 288. And our problem is correct. So guys, ang ating length is 24, ang ating width is 12. So, yun po yung sagot natin. So, syempre, para sa ating conclusion, the length and the width of the rectangle is 24 meter and 12 meter respectively. So, yun po yung example guys, ang ating area from. So, sana po natulong sa, sa inyo guys, especially sa mga problem involving factoring. I hope guys, you will follow some of my channel here. So, ito po yung ayong mga channel, which is, syempre, ating hugot sip na yung web behind the live TV. Ito po yung ayong mga Instagram and our Facebook, YouTube account. So, sana po, supportan nyo po ako. And, sana po, uh, gamitin nyo pong video ko this first quarter para po makatulong sa inyo. So, maraming salamat po guys, and ingat po, and God bless. See you on my next video. Ingat po. God bless.